Okay, so we've created a collection. We can click on Collect My Gallery. I have now written that collection as an HTML table in an email. Hey everyone, my name is Andrew Hess and I'm a Power Platform developer if you're new here. But today I wanted to answer one of the questions from you. So this comes from an old video of one of my older Power Apps and it was writing multiple lines to a data source like SharePoint. So we had a collection here and we could create new lines and we could fill out you know, some different information in here and then we could write that to the data source. And we were saying how to write multiple lines to the collection. So what I did was a for all statement and I'll zoom in there and we'll look at the for all statement. But I had a couple comments on this video. Now let me pull that over. Now one comment here was from Jean Louise Lewis Terranova. And you know, they were saying they watched other YouTubers and they said you could just patch the collection just straight to a SharePoint list, right? So that is true. You could just straight up patch the collection as long as the data source and the collection match up perfectly it will then patch the collection. But with for all, you get a lot more control. You can not patch certain fields if you wanted to. You could do some math behind there. Of course, you could do some math behind it inside the gallery too. Um, you can concatenate things. You could combine certain columns. You get a lot more control when you do the for all statement. Maybe it's a little slower. I haven't tested you know, how long each one takes. But if I did a for all statement, I wouldn't do it more than 10 lines. I think 10 lines is probably, rows is probably the max I would do when I patch. So that, that's what I would think about. There's nothing wrong with doing the for all. There's nothing wrong with patching straight up the collection. So I had another question on the same old video that I created. And it comes from Mike Kiko. And it, you know, it was, you know, how can we send an email of the collection as data as HTML? So I was like, this is, this is great for a video. And pretty much I explained it through text, but it's not that easy to explain. You know, there's some things in there that you got to manipulate to get the HTML to look good in an email. So uh, thank you, Mike Kiko, for the question. Let's get into it and create that video. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to collect our gallery. So these buttons are from my old video. If you want to watch how to do that, you can do that. I'm going to take a button and we're going to create a new collection. And I'm going to say for all. For all what? For all my rows in the gallery. So for all gallery, I believe it's two. So you can see here, this is my gallery two. For all gallery two, all items, I'm going to collect. So now I'm going to say, what am I going to name my collection? I'm going to name it a collection, my gallery. That's just what I'm going to name it. And what are we going to collect? We're going to collect first the title. And that is going to be, I believe it's text input one. So we have text input one, two, three, four. You should rename these things. But for this video, I'm going to leave it like that. Text input one dot text. Uh, food type. Text input two dot text. Allergies. Text input three, dot to, and, and you get it. I'll probably fast forward through here. And double ending parentheses. Okay, so we've created a collection. We can click on collect my gallery, and then we can check out that collection. So this is kind of new for me, but they changed Power Apps a little bit, and they have variables here. And this is collect my gallery. We can go view table. So we can see uh, here is my collection. It's in a different order than what I actually typed it in, but we have title, food type, calories, and allergies, okay? So we collected that uh, gallery. But before we do all that, if let me just kind of show you. If I click on it again, it's gonna duplicate, right? It's gonna say six rows now because we never cleared it, right? So we need to clear it. We don't want it to duplicate. So before my for all statement, I'm going to say clear collection my gallery. And if I can spell it right, there we go. Okay, so now when I collect, it should only be three rows because that's how many we have in there. As you can see, it's three rows. It is the exact collection. Okay, so now we've collected. 
Next, what I would do is I would come over here and I would create a new screen and I would use the template for an email. This is what I would do. I would just use this out of the box template. And so I will create a new button here and it's just gonna navigate to, for me it's screen six. And this is to email. All right, so we've collected my gallery. Now we're gonna go to email. Now we're in this view with to email and in this message down here, I'm most likely going to replace this with HTML. So with an HTML text that is. So I'm gonna delete this. It's gonna give a red X up here, but I'm gonna insert HTML text. I'm gonna put it across the full screen. And then I'm gonna fix my red X up here. So the red X now is confused because the right here, the body is now wrong. It is now called, let me figure out what my HTML is called, HTML text two. So HTML text two dot HTML text. Okay, and the reset function, I will just remove that for now. Okay, so we removed our red X's. Now we want to build out our HTML text. We have that collection. Let's build out the HTML text. All right, so I'm gonna start building a table. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up here. I'm gonna say, you know, table and start with just the table. Now you can add more in here, right? If you know your HTML, you can add in here border equals one and width is 100%. You can add some things in there like that. Then we're going to ampersand. And this is where we're going to create our, our top row, our column names. So first it's going to be, we'll do an ampersand, then we're going to do th. And we're going to do title. Then we're going to do TH and uh, food type. I have to remember my column names. Allergies. TH allergies. And then I believe it's calories. TH calories. Okay. So you can see right now we have the start of an HTML table. Now we want to populate the HTML table. So and, and we can do concat. And what are we gonna concat? We're gonna concat that collection. So collection, my gallery, and then we're gonna do our, our HTML. So tr and td. And uh, we're gonna do title. And then, oh wait, we forgot, we forgot a double quote here. So and title, there we go. Now we're gonna do TD, TD. So slash TD, end that one, and then start a new one. And this should both be in double quotes because we're writing HTML. And now we're writing our variable name again. So this is food type and then we're going to do the same thing here we're going to do we can just copy this right here okay and the next one was allergies and then we'll paste it in again and calories finally all right we can cat that you can see we actually have a table in here I do have one extra column. Why do I have one extra column? Maybe, there we go, I took out that last TD. So now we have a nice HTML table. Okay, and then we can, you know, kind of fix this up and make it perfect. Although Power Apps will kind of work with you and so will email, you don't have to do this, but it is nice to do. So we have to do and in the table. All right, so we have a table in there. 
Now, before we send the email, there's one more thing we need to do. And if you look in here, check out the IntelliSense. If you're ever lost, check out the IntelliSense right here. Is HTML. Now, I'll probably zoom in right there, but there's a, you have, you know, two, subject, body, et cetera, et cetera. And then finally, is HTML, right after importance. So I'm going to add in, is HTML true? And this probably needs to be in the brackets here. There we go. So now it's saying, yes, this is actually HTML that we want to send in the email. So now we added that extra little bit in there because we're using HTML text. And now we're going to send an email to myself. Okay, so I'll press play. We'll send an email to myself. Andrew.hess, we'll send it to myself. This is an HTML email and we'll press send. Now you could add more in here if you wanted to make this email better. You know, you could add your own text, let people write more, but that's just um, all we did for this one. So let's go check out my email. So we can see here, I have now written that collection as an HTML table in an email. I think that's huge. I, everyone's gonna use this, right? I think a lot of people will be using this, but there you go. That's how you write a collection as HTML very simply through Power Apps. So thank you all for watching. If this was helpful, please like and subscribe. Uh, my name is Andrew Hess. I'll see you next time.